Hello. Welcome to Crafty at Home Cafe. I'm Meg Miller, Adult Services Librarian at the Pflugerville Public Library. And for the month of May, we are going to continue to bring you Crafty Cafe weekly on Thursdays at 2 p.m. You can head over to our website calendar at library.pflugervilletx.gov to check and see what upcoming crafts are for each week in May, as well as a supply list for them. So grab your drink and let's craft. So this craft is an earring um, holder uh, that I've actually used. I made this one a few years ago. Um, it's a regular, probably eight by 10 frame, but as you can see, I'm a little overwhelmed in it at this point, um, especially now that we've been making some really cool earrings with the laser cutter. Um, so I need to make a bigger one of these. So I thought this would, could be a craft that I could show you. Um, so I just need a frame. This is a big one um, from the just the, from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't have a stand on the back. Um, so with this one, as with the one I've been using, um, I'll just hang it on the wall. Um, a big frame with a stand, you could put it up on a dresser or something like that. So beyond the frame, I'll need a piece of scrapbook paper or even um, this here is some really cool patterned uh, wrapping paper that I had. And so this was a mock-up I made, um, one I might've used just a solid scrapbook paper and then um, the colors behind it. Although I do kind of like this pattern as well. Um, so it could be anyone and I'm lucky because this frame is 12 by 12 and these pieces of scrap of paper are 12 by 12. So in addition to that, I'm going to need a pair of scissors to cut my ribbon. Uh, I have two different colors of ribbon with a burlap accent um, that I'm going to use. And then on my original one, I actually used two different uh, ribbons, one that has a wire to it uh, to give it a little bit of stability. These here aren't wired ribbons, so I just have some extra um, beading wire that I'm going to use as well. Um, and then some glue. Uh, this one, I think I'm going to use E6000 because uh, you only need a little bit and it's really going to um, stick very well. Using hot glue is an option. I think I tried that originally with this one, um, but it kind of creates too much of a layer in between the frame and the paper um, when you try and put it back together. So you need a thinner glue, but something that's gonna hold. Um, you might also see on this one that I've got a sparkly edge. This is just washi tape. Um, so I do have a washi tape that I could use um, and that'll help me put down the ribbon and hold it in place while I get ready to um, put it all together. So I've got my scrapbook paper ready, um, my ribbons here, I've cut a few pieces already. I am just eyeballing for this one, um, stretching across and kind of doing about a 13 inch piece. For those perfectionists out there, you can always use a ruler if you'd like and really measure out. Um, you'll also end up measuring out how many rows you want across the paper. Um, for this one, I think I'm going to go with a four. I know I had five on my previous version of this craft, but I really want a little bit more room between these lower two ones here, and I've got a wider swath to work with. So I really think that four, even though I had five before, is going to be fine enough. Um, I've decided against using the beading wire. As I mentioned, I probably would have done this with a wired ribbon in a best case scenario, but I think that this double layered ribbon um, with burlap on it really is going to hold up my earrings fairly well um, without having to worry about any um, drooping or falling off so long as I can get these ribbons attached securely so that they are solid. Um, so I'm actually going to use a piece of painter's tape to really secure down where I want these to be um, in this first side shouldn't be too bad lay it right on there oh, my painter's tape is just a smidge 
too short, but I do actually want to move this top row down a little bit um, because the frame itself is going to block off the top little piece and I want to make sure I have enough room on top of the ribbon so that I can um, hang my earrings in there. So then we're going to make that straight across. I'm going to pull it so that it's laying flat and um, if you see this ribbon is kind of moving a little bit um, as I pull it um, we'll let it go. So this time I'm going to make sure my piece of painter's tape is a little bit longer. And I'm going to start from the bottom again, making sure that my ribbon is straight across. The first ends and pretty tightly pulled across. That looks good. And then I'll move on to my next row, making sure that I feel like it's fairly straight across. I'm going to bring this over to the left a little bit better into the camera view. So I'm making sure that's straight across and pulled tightly. And I'll lay that down with the painter's tape up to the next row. Um, these two are a little close together, so I think actually... I'm going to lift this painter's tape, move my ribbon down just a smidge on this side. There we go. Make that tighter. Okay, now I can really get that straight across and tight. Hold that down. And my last little row here, really pushing down. Oh, too tight. See how my paper over here in the corner is coming up? I want to make sure it's not tight that it's pulling on the paper, just tight that the ribbon is laying flat. So I'm using all of my hands. All right, make sure those are solid. Now this top one's still a little too tight. You can see my paper's pulling up there. All right, loosen that up a little bit. Because as I've said before, crafting does not always go right the first time and that's some of the fun of this, especially seeing what will come out in the end. All right, so there are my ribbons on my paper. I'm going to flip that over because now I need to glue down each one of these ribbons to the paper itself. And again, I'm going to use um, E6000 and I'm going to want to make sure that I have something that I can use to either clip down or weigh down the pieces of ribbon when I glue them so that they don't pop up. Okay, so I am ready to glue. I've grabbed some little binder clips here that I can use um, to hold down my piece of ribbon once I get my little bit of E6000 on there. Um, so for this, anybody who's worked with it knows a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just going to fold that over there. And some of that glue is going to come through the top of the ribbon so that my binder clip doesn't stick to it. I'm just going to use a little piece of um, wax paper here so that I can um, remove this binder clip when it comes down to it. All right. There's my first one done. A little bit of glue on here. Fold it right over. Making sure that I'm really getting a tight fold there at the edge. Wax paper down. Binder clip on, and next little bit, holding and pushing the glue all the way through the ribbon, and like I said, making sure that I'm not folding too far to bend the paper, but that I'm definitely right at the edge of the paper. Right, my wax paper, another binder clip, all right, I'm going to turn this towards me for this last one. A little bit of glue. Folding over. Pushing down. Wax paper. Binder clip. And I'm going to do this for the other side and then give it a little while for that glue to set. 
So with these excels in, it starts to dry after like 10 minutes, um, the packaging says, and it takes 24 to 72 hours to really set. Um, I've just given this about two hours, I think, to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my binder clips and my wax paper off. And then I'll be able to flip it over and gently remove my painter's tape so that I don't lose too much of my paper or with this particular ribbon that I use the burlap accent to the front of it. Now that my back is all ready to go I can take my frame and remove all of its contents. For this particular craft I do actually leave the glass in there just behind to give it a little bit more of a sturdy um, backing since what I'm putting into the frame isn't that much more than a uh, picture width. Um, so really I should be able to get it right back into the frame. Okay, so I'm going to take my 12 by 12, fit it into my frame glass back in there over top and this is a Dollar Tree frame so you may have noticed that I lost one or two of the um, pieces of the frame here so if I lose any more this frame won't really work but luckily it's there. So I'm actually just going to leave out that piece of the frame, uh, making sure I realize what direction my um, ribbons are on when I put the back of my frame on so that I know which direction and make sure that I've got the pieces where I need them to be. And actually, yeah, no, that's what I want. I want the ones up the side. I still have two on to be on the bottom. Okay, we'll flip that over and now I am ready to go ahead and hang my earrings on here and honestly I'll probably before I hang this up and put all of those earrings back on it I'm gonna give it a good 24 to 48 hours to dry and really set in here so that um, it gets so I don't pull anything off too fast. I have these that I inherited from my wonderful aunt, my Soros, uh, the baseballs, even though we're not getting baseballs right now, I've got my earrings ready for when the time comes. And one more laser cut. My little Daleks here of my Doctor Who section up above and next to my baseball section. So if you've got a lot of uh, dangly earrings that you're looking for a place to put them, um, this might be a crack that you've got the stuff around or can fairly easily get to give you kind of a cool way to display them.